All right, we want to check in now with Silva Harapetian. She uh, was posting a Facebook Live video from Miami Beach. We had seen her reports. She actually went back to her condo there, uh, and there it is. Is that, is that Silva? Is she with us? I am with you. Hi, Silva. How's it going Hello. there? Um, it's uh, really windy, um, and we are starting to see the beginnings of a uh, little bit of flooding. And I want to talk about where we are right now. This is at the very end of West inside of Lincoln Road and I live on the street so it usually floods because it rains and the drains can't drain the water fast enough. Today it's very different and if you look closely you can see the storm surge actually coming onto the street. That wall right there, that water is usually about three feet below that wall. That gives you an idea of how high that storm surge is as the water is from the bay coming onto the water. We're gonna turn around and, and actually drive around a little bit and show you what it looks like here in Miami Beach. And I wanna stress, cause I've been, I've, we're doing a Facebook Live feed right now and there's a lot of comments in the comment section about being safe and I wanna stress that um, we are doing this safely. There's partially listening to all of our meteorologists about where the squalls are, where the winds are. And also, in addition to, I've lived on the beach for quite some time. I kind of know the streets to avoid. Uh, we're staying in between tall buildings and in the middle of the street and driving very slowly. We've seen some um, down uh, limbs. Uh, we haven't seen any trees yet, but we've seen some limbs down. Um, the wind obviously is con has been consistent. Um, even after last night, we, we got off the air around midnight and throughout the night, the howling of the wind, it sounds like a lot of people say it sounds like um, a freight train. And quite frankly, I've, I've never been through a hurricane this size before. And it sounded like a train in a, in a tunnel. Um, and and the windows kind of um, you could hear it shaking a little bit. Um, I can report that fortunately we haven't seen anyone out. There was one person that we saw coming out of the building. They came out from a side door. They let their their dog out and then they went back in. So um, hang on, we're going to make a turn here. There's um, there's some tree limbs down here. This is uh, where are we West and Lincoln Road here. Um, so you can see the damage from the wind. Uh, from last night, um, are we gonna, yeah, okay. So um, last night we also saw a number of number of uh, explosions from our balcony um, because we'd seen a lot of lightning um, over our shoulder and there were flashes of blue light and green light in the distance. Um, and we can only assume that those are transformers that were exploding, which is the reason why we've been reporting so many people without power. Um, Again, the, the wind has been consistent. This is, uh, we've heard Craig and Lissette talk about um, this hurricane being a wind event and a storm surge event and not a rain event. And it's, that's evident from what we see while we're driving around the streets because, as you know, Miami Beach is famous for, for flooding. So we're not seeing the rain, so the water is not sort of um, coming up in the flood zones that we usually see flooded when it rains uh, really hard for a consistent period of time. Uh, but we did see the storm surge right there on the bay. Um, so if you stay with us here, we're gonna make a turn here on um, Alton Road. Um, and if you look closely, a lot of the businesses um, are boarded up. Uh, okay, how are we doing here? Uh, so this is the first time we're actually taking a drive um, on Miami Beach. So you're coming along with us as we're just we're trying to see uh, the kind of damage that 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 um, the wind uh, or the or or the storm surge may have done. And it doesn't look too bad here on on um, Alton Road, and we're approaching 15th right now. To look at these risk? pictures, Silva. I don't, can you hear us okay? Just to, to, yeah, to look at these it. pictures and to know that Alton Road, uh, you know, floods so easily, even without hurricanes, and yet it looks like it's uh, held up pretty well, at least what we can see from your vantage point. Yeah, and the traffic yeah. light's even working. Uh, yeah, the traffic lights are working, and you know, um, I mean, I, I, we, did, we did all live reports for my, for my apartment. Um, uh, we had power all of last night. Um, there were uh, a number of buildings across the street that lost power because of that transformer that exploded um, late last night. Other than that, it seems like everyone seems to have power and the traffic lights are working. And you're right, uh, portions of Alton Road do flood very easily when it rains, um, you know, really hard consistently. The drains just don't have enough enough time to, to the water for the water to drain, and usually we'll see standing uh, 
water around here and and there isn't any so this just adds to what we talk about which is this is this is really a storm surge and wind event and that and you know Ruta Bay and Rick I've, co I've covered I've covered tornadoes in Oklahoma and Texas and I've covered um, fires in California and um, a number of other natural disasters I've never been three through a sorry about that with a little trouble here with the with the phone here no problem um, but I've never been through a hurricane before and I can tell you the sound of the howling train is, is definitely true as I've heard a lot of you describe um, we heard that last, last night and earlier today I'm gonna just turn this camera around real quick to, sh to show you where we are um, me and Ebenezer are in the car so we're, we're safe we're driving around I, I know a lot of people are are worried about um, about our safety but hi again, Ebenezer we, <laughs> we we are where is it uh, oh there we've got a tree down right there on what is that on Ace and Alton uh, can you guys see this on on the left on the left side of your screen we do see it let's get a little closer and take a look here so do you are you experiencing um you know the big gusts of wind or does it seem pretty sustained right now i mean obviously we see things blowing around i'm wondering if it's like squalls or if it's just mm, kind of a that. sustained steady steady wind but it's definitely I mean, dramatic we can see yeah, and it, it is sustained and steady, but at the same time, you know, I'm going to pick up this phone so that it doesn't keep falling. Um, it is sustained and steady, but at the same time, there are gusts that come through. So you you see, you feel the squall because then it rains really hard. Oh, look at that tree that's uprooted. Um, I'm not really sure what kind of tree this is, but it's uprooted. Also, fortunately, it fell forward onto the street and not over over uh, on that house. So um, can wow. we go a little closer to... Um, we're going to turn around and see, oh, there's a, there's a car on the street. This is the first one I've seen in a little while. Um, I can tell you, as of last night, emergency responders were still coming out. Um, we heard them uh, with sirens a um, couple of times responding to some calls. Can we go left? So we're going to go east on 8th Street here um, and see if we can we can see any flooding or any any other issues here so we're going further this is going towards the beach so we were towards the bay now we're going to head over towards the beach and see um what we can find um so you can see a lot of debris and a lot of limbs and and, and that tree down but you know it's it's not and and I, I i hesitate to say it's not too bad because this is you know it's that false sense of security for people to get out and and sort of um, think that it's okay to be out and, and again I want to stress that we we are doing this safely we are listening to Lisette we're listening to Craig we are also using our our GPS and our in instinct and intuition and in having covered um, events like this for for many many years so oh wait listen there's a tree down over on this street where are we um, see I mean you can see um, we've seen a lot of really young palm trees down um that's really been the that's been the issue here hmm. um, we saw, we've seen those big mature trees down too it looks like that that are really blocking the road i mean it's you can see yeah, why people say that wow. it's hard to get around hmm. yeah you guys can, can you see this take a look at that yep wow that is that is a humongous tree um that was uprooted and well, there's another uh, one straight ahead of you. Is that the one you're talking about? You're getting closer to it. And this one looks there like it's go. blocked, and you're, you're still on 8th Street. This is blocking off the entire street. There's no way no. that anyone's going to be able to get around this thing. No, we're not on 8th Street anymore. We are, um, I'm not really sure what street we turned on here. It's, uh, it's just south of Alton. This is actually, uh, do, you, do you see the, uh, the sidewalk yeah, that's look at that. come up with the root of that tree? Um, you, you, can, you can guess how strong the winds uh, were earlier to have knocked that tree down. This is a very, very large tree. Fortunately, again, the tree falling onto the street and not towards the building. And this is part of the reason why we've we've told so many people to stay indoors. And as you may remember, we talked about this yesterday. A curfew was issued uh, between 8 p.m. and 8 uh, and 7 a.m. this morning uh, for Miami Beach. Um, I'm going to get a little closer and tell you what street we're on. I should know this because I, I know these streets by heart. We were on Michigan and um, Ninth. That, that was on Michigan and Ninth. Um, so we're going to keep going towards the uh, the ocean. We're going further east. Um, 
as we talked about the curfew, um, and of course Miami Beach was evacuated because we are in Zone B, and the, and the concern was the storm surge, and you saw that earlier when I showed you um, how high the water had come on the bay, and it's very strange to see that because um, I've never seen that water that rough before. In fact, the water is so calm on the bay, I see people paddle boarding all the time on regular basis. To